Yeah, you know who it is, your boy JD Kiss. You probably think you know my brothers. It's the real. You seen them around. You heard them. You witnessed them interviewing the top prestigious artists and athletes and things of that nature. But there's a whole heap of things you definitely probably don't know. And we're going to get into that. <laughs> this is part one right here 2007 to 2009 For August 2007 Eric and Jeff Rosenthal Were two Jewish brothers Who obsessed over hip hop from afar Living at their parents house 30 minutes north of New York City They were young creatives Jeff spent a year working for HBO Eric was fresh off a document in Kanye West, Missy Elliott And Jim Jones Together, Eric and Jeff felt like they had something to add in the rap world. Their perspective. They had a half-hour hip-hop TV show idea in mind. Part interviews, part live music, and part sketch comedy. But there were no takers and no connections. So they take things into their own hands, creating hip-hop sketch comedy videos with only the help of local friends and family. Eric and Jeff's parents didn't know what they were creating, nor to what end. But they knew there was a special energy. The first video they ever made was called Deconstructing Biggie. <laughs> Where they took the lyric, you're mad cause my style you're admiring. Oh, you know this. Don't be mad, UPS is hiring. There you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? And looked at it from the UPS driver's perspective who hated it, and the FedEx and DHL guys, who absolutely loved it. The video went viral, but the key was to deliver the next week and the week after that. It's the Real would be based around consistency and quality, treating it like a real TV program, even if there was no money coming in. As Eric and Jeff moved to the Upper West Side of Manhattan, the voice became more distinctive and videos more adventurous. They were routinely celebrated and promoted across the biosphere. Blogosphere. The, bl the blogosphere. <laughs> they made up a word, the blogosphere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Led by Nah Wright and Miss Info. In short order, artists started to reach out to be a part of the fun. Bun B, Cameron, The Clips, Nick Cannon, Max B, Pete wins from the Fallout Boys, among others. For three and a half years, It's The Real was appointment viewing on Monday morning. The rest of the week and the weekend, you can find Eric and Jeff at every listening party, video shoot, and get together from uptown to deep in Brooklyn, mixing with artists, bloggers, OGs, and interns. They took odd jobs to pay the rent. They walked for miles when they couldn't afford subway fare. But they always had the long game in mind. Until the end of 2009 when things quickened up. First Twitter exploded on the scene. Making this the real timely videos feel like old news. And then Eric and Jeff lost their spark when their dad Steve died of cancer only six weeks after his diagnosis. It's the real would need a rest and a reset. That's some real shit. This is interesting as <laughs> shit, dog. Word the mother. I bet you P and Luke's gonna be like, they lying. <laughs> listen, listen, where did this done? How y'all stole somebody's life story? I got kids up there reading. You got kids reading G Depp's life story. 